by 1965, when the Vietnam War was building up, there had been about 1,000 U.S. soldiers killed that Christmas. Every night on the news, there would be a body count by Walter Cronkite, the reporter. And it was very upsetting for us kids. I was a very shy girl, and so I wasn't some rebel um, protester, but I really believed in the messages that we had learned in church, which is that peace and love were very important. And so when some of the older kids started talking about speaking up about the war and the images, the horrible images that we were seeing on TV of the war, um, I thought maybe I should try to speak up too. When the older kids just decided to wear simple black armbands um, to school like this, and they said, come on, you know, let's, we can do this. So I thought, well, maybe I will try. And so that's how I got involved with this very small action that turned into a very big case at the Supreme Court. Then some people got really mad about that, and it was kind of surprising. And they sent us things like this um, postcard to our house and, you know, the red hammer and sickle and the hate. They would try to say that we were communists, and my mother always said, we're not communists, we're Methodists. But people threatened to bomb our house, people called and um, told, this woman called and said that she was going to kill me. I was really surprised because I knew that we were just speaking up for peace. I had no idea that our small action would lead to the Supreme Court. Really, I thought the whole thing was probably over that day um, that we wore the armbands. But there is a group named the American Civil Liberties Union, the ACLU. And they've been around for almost 100 years, speaking up and standing up for the Bill of Rights. That's their entire mission. They thought that young people should have rights, too. And so after we went to the school board and tried to negotiate, which is a message I always give to kids, is try to negotiate first. Um, but the ACLU offered to take it to court. And so when we appealed the case to the Supreme Court, when the ACLU did, the, ex the case was accepted by the Supreme Court. And it was heard there. And um, we won by 7 to 2 in 1969. I was so happy and surprised because I really didn't think that, you know, a court of judges, very important people, would say that kids have rights. So My message for young people is that it's a good way of life to speak up, to stand up for a better world, and to use your rights to do that, to use your democratic rights, your First Amendment rights, the right to free speech, free press, freedom of religion, the freedom to assemble, the right to freedom to petition. You can use all of these rights to make a better world by knowing what's going on in the world and speaking up about it and then doing something that young people are especially geared to, which is taking action.